Hi, I'm Susan Kennard and uh, something that I wanted to share with you all today was the importance of understanding that you have a light body and that when you step into your light body that actually you are stepping much more fully into alignment with who you are. If you are outside of your light body, meaning you're not fully integrated and aligned with it, it's really hard for you to be in alignment with your mission, to remember who you are, and to understand that this is actually your key to creating and manifesting in the 3D reality that we live in. So what I wanted to do today was to talk a little bit about what the light body was, but also do a process that I've been doing on a daily basis for the last couple of weeks with a colleague of mine called Maria. And we've basically been working together and looking at where we are slightly out of our light body on each day or we're not fully aligned with it and a particular process that we've been doing together. And I wanted to, to teach you it and help you to understand how you could do it on a daily basis. Okay, so I'm just going to have a look and see who's here. Oh, hi, Fiona. Hi, and hi, Ian. Lovely to see you. Feel free to share this if you feel that it might help somebody uh, on their journey of expansion and their journey of understanding that we are a soul in a body, obviously, having a human experience, but that our light body is key to actually fulfilling why we're here. So um, this is something that I've been working with for years. Hi, Madeline. Hi, Laura. Uh, but just recently, you know, with the big shifts in consciousness, what I've realized is that the guides have been giving me deep, deep processes now where we are able to really have a look and see what is outstanding in the sense of what perhaps is stopping us from being fully aligned into our light body. Okay, so I'm going to, in a moment, take you through a process where I'm going to teach you how you can actually check how aligned you are into your light body, how integrated you are into your light body, and what part of you is showing up to show you what you need to heal. Okay, and then if we've got time, I'll have a look at perhaps how we can heal that as well. Okay, so um, let's just put our hands on our heart if that's possible. And if you're watching the replay, then obviously you take responsibility for your own well-being. And if you're driving, uh, you obviously aren't going to close your eyes. So I'm just going to close my eyes for a second and just bring everyone in. Yeah, okay, so I'm being reminded to say that um, if you could all say this statement before we start. So I'm fully aligned with my consciousness mind, body, soul, spirit, freedom. Take a deep breath. Okay, good. And also, creator all that is, it's commanded that you pull, clear, cancel, and delete on all four levels and resolve on the history level. Any waywards, any watchers, anything that does not serve myself and everyone that's listening now or, or may be listening later in the replay and send it up to unconditional love with gratitude, understanding, and from a place of pure unconditional love. Okay, good. Good, okay, so now everybody is aligned and ready. Okay, so what do the guys want to do first? All right, okay, so those of you that know me, uh, quite often I'll do the Earth Star, Soul Star. So if you don't know this process, just close your eyes and just imagine a star beneath your feet. This is your Earth Star. So just breathe normally, breathe that light into your heart center. Fantastic. And then imagine that soul star above your head and way into the universe and some of you will be even into the multiverse. In fact, I'm being told that everyone that's listening right now is into the multiverse. <laughs> so that's perfect. Okay, good. Oh, good. And then imagine a beam of light coming down from your soul star through your body into your earth star. So allowing you to be grounded, safe and secure in the earth plane and the earth energy and mother earth and Gaia and connected to source energy. And I'm being reminded to say that uh, quite often we're 
we're up here, but we're not so grounded. So it's really important to be grounded. And this is a very quick process you can do. And if you sign up to my newsletter, uh, you get this free uh, meditation, slightly different, because uh, this one's bespoke to today. But you'll get the, the meditation which I created um, as a free download. You just have to go onto my website, susankennard.co.uk, subscribe, and you'll get an email with the link to download this meditation, which you can keep forever. Okay, good. All right, brilliant. So let's just see. So we've got Madeline. Hi, Madeline. Yeah, definitely a big shift. It's brilliant. Okay, so you can open your eyes or keep them closed. And the way that I like to do this is I like to see it with my eyes open. So I want you now just to scan your body. So go from the top of your head, scanning through, and just look at what you can see. So just have a look. See if there's anything highlighted to you in your field. And this is your physical body. So we're just looking now at the physical body, almost like you were a uh, photocopier <laughs> or, a, or a laser beam. Okay, good. Good, excellent. All right, so just notice that without judgment. And now I want you to ask to be shown your light body. Now just ask to be shown your light body. So I'm having a look at mine now. And I see mine, I see myself, I see my light body. I'm sitting down, so I see my light body within me. Uh, but I did uh, this process first thing this morning before I got up. So this is something that I do every morning now. So I just want you to have a look at your light body. Now is your light body fully in your body? Or is it slightly to the right, slightly to the left? Is it in front of you? Okay, and these are all things just to have a look at. Can you see part of your light body, but you can't see the other part? What are you actually experiencing? Okay, just really acknowledge that. And then have a look and see where there may be some interruptions. The guides call it interruptions in light. But sometimes we might see like a, an external bit around the outside of our of our body. So it might be green or it might be dark or, or whatever it might be. OK, so just acknowledge that and look at that. Excellent. And now what I want you to do is ask that part of you, that part of you, which is usually a child, to step forward and show themselves to you. Okay, so this will be a part of you that that um, feels that they can't believe in themselves or they judge themselves. And we know that this is ego, but we also have to look at the experience that we had as a child. So this, this child will step forward now, and then you can see how old they are. Okay, rough age. And look at what emotion they're giving you. So the key will be, what emotion you feel from that child. Sometimes people find this quite an emotional process. So just have a look at that child. Brilliant. Now the only person that can heal that child is you. Okay, we can only heal ourselves. I'm facilitating this for you. This is what I do, but you can heal yourself. Okay, so have a look at that child and ask her or him, what do you need? And then I want you to give that child, maybe it's a hug, maybe it's compassion, maybe it's the understanding that you're there to love them. You're there to support them. That you always did support them, that you always did love them. Yeah. And what the guides are saying here is that some of you may need some angels around. So we're going to bring in some beautiful Rahani angels and their pink celestial angels. So we're just going to bring those in around your child to help this process, to feel supported, to feel loved. Good. Excellent. And now what I'm getting the sense of is that when you feel that your child feels 
supported, loved, and that maybe they've got a smile on their face or they feel more settled. Bring them in to yourself. So bring that child in and watch that child fill up the whole of you. And you may take a really deep breath here. And integrate that child into you. And then watch what happens now. Because sometimes what happens is, is our ego comes in. And the ego is, I can't possibly believe in myself. I'm not good enough. I couldn't possibly have that. I can't be successful. I couldn't lose the weight, whatever it might be. Okay. And that's the ego. That's the part of us that's there to show us where we need to heal as well. So just take that ego and ask your guides to give it to you in a, a symbol or um, an essence. So it might be uh, somebody in a cloak. It might be um, a dark energy. It might be a tall, skinny energy, whatever it might be. Maybe an animal, actually. They're telling me it may be an animal. So just take that essence that you've got there, knowing that it's just your ego, that it's nothing there to hurt you, and just shine light onto it. And be grateful. Say, I'm so, I'm so thankful that you're showing yourself to me. I've held that for so long. I'm so thankful that you're showing this belief to me. And watch as it changes and ask it to go up to unconditional love to creator. Okay, good, excellent. And now I want you to check back into your light body. How does it feel now? Does it feel brighter? Does it feel lighter? Does it feel that you have absorbed more? Do you feel that you are absorbing more of your light body? Do you feel that maybe that interruption in light or that piece around the outside is now brighter? And so this is something that if you do this on a daily basis, alongside other ways of, of healing yourself as well, then you're actually accessing those parts of you that are showing themselves to you that actually don't serve you anymore. Those little children, those little bits of you that perhaps you've done so much work on. I know, you know, I've been working on myself for over 20 years. I've been doing this work for a very, very long time. But still parts of me pop up. Um, and for example, uh, the other day I had, I was born with a cord around my neck. And you will not believe how much work I have done on clearing those blocks of being born with a cord around my neck. And this little baby self popped up first thing in the morning, 6.30 in the morning before I get up. And was like, oh, it's not safe to be in the world. So I'm like, okay. So I then did this process where I helped that baby part of me, just that tiny, tiny baby part of me to be integrated once again. So it's an ongoing process where we never get it done. But what happens is we start to align to our value, our self-belief, our unconditional love of ourselves, the um, lack of self-sacrifice that, that perhaps we would have given, you know, we would have kind of sacrificed ourselves in many lifetimes before and in this lifetime as a child you know we would have given all our energy to someone um we would have given away all of our worldly goods or whatever we might have done so that's one of the things that happens so as we start to work on ourselves with our light body our light body is the key the more light we can hold in our light body the more we are integrated and in alignment with our pure soul self does that make sense okay so i'm just going to have a look at um what people experience from there sometimes it can be quite an emotional experience and um, i know when i run my groups quite often and we do all sorts of processes not just this one but uh when these things come up it's just so transformative because it's really giving that baby self or that child self or that part of you that maybe was physically abused, emotionally abused, sexually abused, that compassion. 
And, and that's the only person, you are the only person that can give that child that healing. No one else can, it's only you. But to access it is really, really powerful. Access it knowing that you can access it, okay? And sometimes it's helpful to have a facilitator like myself or someone that does similar work to access it with you, okay? So I'm just gonna watch and see what people experienced from there. Okay, fantastic. So um, if you would like to do, I'm gonna have a look at the comments in a moment, but if you would like to do more of this work, obviously you can work with me privately, bespokely, and just go to my website, susankennard.co.uk. But I'm going to be running a monthly group where it's gonna be on a Wednesday lunchtime, and it's going to be around about one o'clock UK time, which allows American uh, clients to come on as well, because it's their first thing in the morning. So it's gonna be a lunchtime group, it's um, if you sign up for it, it's £33 a month, which is really reasonable. And it's about two hours. So you get about one and a half to two hours of clearing where we will do processes like this. We'll work with abundance. We'll work with success. We'll work with relationships. We'll work with physical health, emotional health and anything else that, that you choose to work with. We'll set intentions. You'll get not only group work, but you'll also get some individual work as well. So the guides will, will help me to work with you individually on these groups. And um, if you just choose to do one, you can pay £44, and that's just a one-off. Or if you choose to join and subscribe to the membership, it's £33 a month, and they're all recorded. So even if you can't make it, you can uh, listen to the recording and receive exactly the same help uh, from the recording, the video recording. Okay, and the other thing just to, just to note is to tell you, if you live on the South Coast, or even if you're prepared to travel, on the 11th of May, I'm going to be holding an Ascension 111 workshop where we're going to be looking at clearing the blocks to Ascension. Uh, and it's a physical workshop, and it is 111, it's 111 pounds, and you can find that on my on my um, news feed on my Facebook uh, where you can just click on the event and you can find the details there and it's going to be running for a whole day so you will get lots of individual work you will work in a very small group and so you'll learn to understand much more about what the mission is what Ascension is all about and the blocks that you might be holding okay so now I'm going to have a look at the comments are here we go. oh lots of people are joined that's really beautiful okay so madeline feels it feels smoother that's really good yeah lady on yeah do, do it later if you haven't got the the time shannon hi i've right, been doing a lot of reintegration it's the clearing that we build in the light yes exactly i think there's uh, a lot of schools of thought um are feeling like we need to release trauma but what is trauma you know, my guides have been telling me for a very long time, years and years, that actually trauma, all trauma is, is an interruption in the light field. And so uh, quite often when we come through and do light language or sound healing, we're really looking at the vibration of the light field. So we're looking at healing. We're not going to trawl through what happened to you. It really isn't necessary. We can see it, and I can often see it in the Akashic realms and the Akashic records, and look at the contracts that you might have held or that you're still holding within your field. And that's one of the ways that we, we do clearing of trauma. But we don't need to do psychotherapy like we used to. You know, We don't need to trawl through it all step by step and talk about it. Um, to the cows come home we just need to look at our field and just see where are we in alignment what's our external world showing us and where can we tweak that where can we shift that i think that's that's the power of um essentially what the guys are saying here is the power of the aligning with the masculine and the feminine and, and allowing us to be both the masculine part of us in success, but the feminine part of us in the softness of receiving. So that's really important. So let's have a look. Um, okay. So anybody want to tell me what they experienced? How old was their child? How old was the child stepping forward and showing themselves to you?
group it's going to be the last weekend sorry the last week in the month so it's going to be the last Wednesday of each month so it allows you to know and you can plan it in your diary okay let's have a look okay yep so I'm going to have a look now see if anybody else is on and if you want to ask me any questions about that process it looks like loads of people are on and watching or clicked on and perhaps have had to go back to work um, but I thought this is a good time so please share if you feel this will help somebody and I'm also uh, I've also decided with a colleague of mine as well uh, to do uh, five days of videos so next week uh, when the children go back to school five days of videos where I'm going to be doing a process with you to help you create more success and abundance in your life. So we'll be really looking at what the guides want to help you with. And I'll just be guided and show up each day. And it will be after the school run. So here in the UK, the school run, um, once I finish both school runs, it will be about half past nine, 10 o'clock. So 10 o'clock UK time before I start seeing clients. Uh, and uh, I'd like you just to be ready with some water and perhaps settled and then we can do our process together so if anyone's up for that please just keep following uh, yeah follow actually that's a very good point the guys reminded me follow my page or um, I don't think I've got any space on my friends anymore um, but if you follow the page, I'll be sharing this to my Expand Your Consciousness page as well. And please do visit my website, which is susankennard.co.uk, where you can find lots of information. You can also look at my services, whether you would like a reading, a mission reading, um, do a block of work with me, intense program of work with me, or whether you'd just like to have one session you can choose okay so I'm going to go and I'm just going to check that nobody has left another message ah oh. uh, okay Madeline my child was one year one month when my brother was born mm. well I'm sure you have looked at it I'm sure you have looked at it it's just that there are nuances and there are bits and pieces Madeline that are showing themselves now that were not ready to show themselves before. Okay, and we're coming up to full moon. We're coming up to the second full moon um, in Libra um, this week, this, this Friday actually in the UK. And this is a time of endings. It's a time of looking at what we need to let go of, what we need to um, really accept and say, okay, no more. I cannot have this anymore. I cannot be repeating this pattern anymore. So this is an absolute perfect time to decide to go on the journey of really fine tuning and looking at those parts of you that are coming up to say, yeah, me, you didn't see me before because I wasn't ready to step forward. And especially if you have um, a physical message, you know, the body is showing a physical message, really tune into that. Where is that interruption in light in your body? And then look at the first point where that belief system and that vibration came into your body that's really really powerful to look at that okay all right so let me just see is there anything else here oh colette hello and go i've missed you yes definitely do it yeah it was uh really stepping into the light body colette and a process that that i do on a daily basis uh to look at my Okay, yep, so I'm gonna go now, but please do not hesitate to message me. Um, and if you want to join the monthly group call, which will start on the last week on the Wednesday, the last Wednesday of the month, and it's 33 pounds or 44 if you just wanna do a one-off, you can go into my shop on my website, susankennard.co.uk, and you can sign up for that, and you'll get sent a Zoom link. Okay, all right, lots of love to everyone. See you soon, bye.